Hey guys, it's Paige. Welcome back to my channel. In today's vlog, I am finally going grocery shopping. Featuring. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, <laughs> she's back. Do you want to formally introduce yourself? Because I feel like okay, you um, I'm Coletta and I'm from Nigeria. Yes. I study economics, master. Yes. So today we are going grocery shopping. It is my first time ever officially grocery shopping in a British grocery store. I've been inside a few. Um, I haven't really bought anything, but we're gonna see how it is. So to get to the grocery store, we're gonna take the bus. But the thing is, I don't have an Oyster card yet. So we're just gonna knock that out as well. But to buy an Oyster card, um, you have to have cash. And I don't have that either, so ATM is the first stop. Yay, I got an Oyster card, finally. Apparently the bus comes every 11 to 13 minutes on Sunday, so we're just waiting. <laughs> Today we are going grocery shopping in Asda. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Asda Superstore, something like that. Um, a lot of people that I talk to recommend it. Actually, not even just people that I talk to here. A lot of you guys in the comments of my YouTube videos have told me to check out Asda because they apparently have good prices. Um, so it's finally time for me to start meal prepping again and eating clean and getting back in the gym and all of that and just getting back to my regular life as regular as it can be um in a different country but um yeah so we're gonna go see what kind of food they have in here and see what i can work with So guys, just realized that Asda is actually owned by Walmart. And y'all know, in the States, I shop at Walmart every week, so this is perfect. The grapes are two for two pounds, so I think I will get some of those. Are British sprouts the same thing as Brussels sprouts? <laughs> I, they gotta be. Yeah, they gotta be. I'm gonna get some red onions. These look like zucchinis. They're not called zucchinis, but I know that's what these are. <laughs> this is so funny, the names. Like, what is this? This is the part I'm kind of nervous about. Let's check out the meat section because I'm very picky. I like white ground turkey. So let's see. Hmm. British Sharky Extra Lean. Let's let's see, guys. If this is like an equivalent to what I eat, Extra Lean. I think I can work with this. But why is everything about to expire soon? Come on now. I'm gonna have to just buy enough that lasts me for the next couple days and then come back. I'm in the World Food section. They have Uncle Ben's. Pretty sure that's American, right, guys? <laughs> that's the only thing I see though that I recognize. So you guys, I was really worried about this. Um, I'm having trouble finding a salt-free seasoning because at home I use Mrs. Dash because I don't like cooking with salt at all. I found this reduced salt option and it might just have to do for now, but I would really prefer not to have any salt. We're in the snack section now. Do you guys have unsalted pistachios if you don't have salt-free seasoning? <laughs> yes, they have roasted unsalted pistachios. Praise them. Y'all trying to understand the amount of salt and stuff and calories. I don't know, it's just worded differently or, or something. It's like my brain can't even wrap around it right now. Maybe it's because I'm hungry. <laughs> so I'm not sure if this is something I can actually have regularly, but I bought some at the airport and it was so good so here we go and this one actually seems even better the lightly sea salted it's probably a little bit healthier but we're just gonna get them all 
So this is not a part of uh, my current diet plan, but I've seen these on YouTube so many times, digestives. I guess they're just like really thin cookies. Is that something that you guys just really like here? Like thin cookies? Like even the Oreos are, are thin. It's so interesting. This is our basket so far. Most of this is mine, but <laughs> I needed it, I needed it. Check this out, guys. Try to get them the food. It expires on the 15th, guys. Like, my girl needs some fresh bread. Come on. <laughs> okay, okay, wait a second. Before any of my UK viewers get upset with me, I have recently been educated by someone who is also from the UK that in America, our food contains more preservatives and things that allow it to have a longer shelf life. And in the UK, they don't use all that stuff because it's not really good for you. So let me know, am I just gonna have to get used to shopping multiple times a week? Everything is a teachable moment and I love to learn. Thanks guys. Yeah, it's just not gonna work. Porridge oats. You guys, it's porridge oatmeal. <laughs> Some Quaker, but it's, that looks different. Oh, I don't know if I wanna test that today. This brand is four pound twenty. The as the brand is two sixteen, so you know what we're going with. Yay, guys! They have the yogurt that I eat at home. I just asked someone where the Tupperware was and they looked at me like I had two heads. I said, well, what do y'all call it here? And they're like, containers? Um, okay. <laughs> Our first British grocery store trip is complete. What did you think? Um, it was nice, except the bread part. Well, yeah, the bread, nice. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, it was fine. So, yeah, I got my groceries, at least for the next few days. A lot of things in there um, were about to expire. Yeah, so couldn't get a whole lot, but it'll do for now. Your girl can eat. As always, I wish this wind was like not blowing my hair this way. So I can end this video not looking crazy. So as always, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs> this win is worse than Chicago. <laughs>